OK, so let's provide a couple of traditional data examples. Think of basic customer data, the type of data set we use in our SQL course. This table contains text information about a given customer. We're going to use it to give a clear example of the difference between a numerical and categorical variable. Notice the first column. It shows the ID assigned to the different customers. These numbers, however, cannot be manipulated. Calculating an average ID is not something that would give you any sort of useful information. This means that even though they are numbers, they hold no numerical value and therefore represent categorical data. Now, focus on the last column. This shows how many times a customer has filed a complaint. These numbers are easily manipulated. Adding them all together to give a total number of complaints is useful information. Therefore, they are numerical data. All right. Another example we can look at is daily historical stock price data. This is what we use in our Python for Finance course. In the data set you see here, there's a column containing the dates of the observations, which is considered categorical data, and a column containing the stock prices, which is numerical data. Great! Additionally, we can see that these two examples were representative of traditional data. Structurally, they were not too complex or too large to be organized into tables, and the data was clear and understandable.